She's a dancer, she's a philanthropist, she's a social worker and now she's going to go head on against Asaduddin Uwaisi in the old city of Hyderabad. Joining us now is Madhavi Lataji. Namaste, Jai Hind. Congratulations on being nominated. Your first uh, thought, the first lady to be put up from that seat in many, many years, perhaps even in the records, never has a woman contested from the old city, Hyderabad. Tough one or not? Madhviji. Because I'm born and brought up there, uh, Anandji, so I definitely know the logistics there. I know the truth that is prevailing there. And I know, I know the desperation of the people who are living in that constituency. So I just don't see any tough fight as such for myself there. Well, you don't see a tough fight, but the numbers speak otherwise, Madhviji. The seat dominated by the OVC, Salauddin OVC, and then Asaduddin OVC since 1984. 2019 also had a victory of more than 2,30,000 votes. I do agree, Ananji, but I would say that then I was just a kid. So I would only talk what is exactly today. Hmm. Today, the perspective is that we cannot anymore take the religion as the X factor to win elections. The days have gone. Mm. People have modernized themselves. People have understood that religion is a very personal thing that keeps us always happy and wise to think for the better development of the nation. Mm. Agar Asadji uh, would continuously want to use that as his X factor to win, I am sure that that's no more the strength mm. for to really stand up for the old city as a constituency in Hyderabad as a old constituency. Mm. Mm. But does the dynamics, uh, do the dynamics in Tal Telangana change with the Congress coming back into the fray given the recent Vidana Sabha polls, Madhviji? So is it a three-way fight now? I would no more consider BRS because as you rightly said, in 2023, in spite of power and money, Everything, if, we could, if they couldn't make it up there, I am sure that it's not possible anymore for them to do it in Hyderabad as Lok Sabha constituency because hmm. they have played no good role in ensuring the development of the constituency. For the number of years that they have really ruled here, have taken their role in or responsibility, they should have been taken to uplift this particular constituency. Hmm. They have abandoned it successfully with the sitting MP there. Hmm. So now coming up to Congress, Congress is has its own, uh, you know, the way we need to look at it as a party. Now this is a Lok Sabha seat. Hmm. Congress at centre is as good as TRS in the hmm. state today. Okay. So I don't see any reason why people should be opting for Congress when it comes to Lok Sabha. Hmm. Now coming up with a third, I would tell you that I'll give you, I'll give you one more uh, dimension okay. to this. In 2023, there has been a very serious fall in the percentage of Muslim votes with hmm. AIMIM. At the same time, we also have seen there is a very good increase in entire Telangana, the voting percentage in BJP. Hmm. While keeping this on one side, what is very important, all of us have to note that old city as Hyderabad constituency, because I am yeah. sure this is going across the country. Entire nation needs to know one thing, Hyderabad as a Lok Sabha constituency is not Hyderabad as capital city. Mm. The capital city of Hyderabad has three, three constituencies with it, mm. absolutely into the centre of it as a capital city. Sikandrabad, Malkajigiri and Hyderabad as a different Lok Sabha constituency which has seven assembly constituencies within that. Right. And if you try to compare the old city Lok Sabha constituency with other two constituencies of Hyderabad as capital city, it is in a very pathetic stage. Hmm. But let's talk about development far hmm. off. Hmm. They are actually somewhere in time machine, travelling forty years back. Hmm. But let's talk about uh, you. You broke the Hyderabad into three constituencies, so let's talk about old city. Seven assembly constituencies rare, barring Raja Singh who holds fort in one. The others are with the AIMIM. So, how are you going to breach Old City? It is going to be different this time because we are going to open up every fact that is behind the polling. Mm. The 
specific and a major reason that he has been winning continuously is because of the support from mm. local government that is mm. a state government if you can kindly observe ananji all the years when he has won these elections you never had bjp in the state mm. please kindly note this point bjp was never in the state right so there was a very clear understanding between aimim and the ruling party mm. we have 1996 polling booths mm. out of which a major chunk of booths are placed in such areas where it is very difficult for the hindu voters to go and cast their vote mm. they have been repeatedly expressed this pain but it has never been addressed the second point which is very very important the polling agents who been deployed by bjp right. are always threatened and we always find it very difficult and we have no local government support on mm. that mm. now third point ghmc always has played a very notorious role mm. in way back all the governments at this now with this government we still have to check it so with mm. way back governments they always deleted hindu votes right and they helped on enrolling successfully couple of votes more than one for hmm. muslims right. so i'll give you a fifth point we have done statistics and worked on it you have at places where more than 200 votes are there in a house which is just not more than 100 square feet right and we are going to bring all this into limelight anand ji so we well, exactly know that what war is this Well, uh, you're calling it a war, and you're also making some very serious allegations about booth placement, vote tampering, and uh, misallocation, etc. So we'll wait for the proof very soon. But Madhavi ji, how do things change with the Hyderabad civic polls? The BJP came to the fore with a bang, but then with the Vidhan Sabha elections and the results, the Congress is in the mix. 17 seats across Telangana. How do you see the BJP's prospect? Now. i would just first explain in detail how my constituency is going to work towards mm. the elections there are three things in this anand ji first thing is development right position of women in the constituency how a muslim woman a pasmanda woman pasmanda is a poor woman, poor woman. that's yeah. how we address is addressed in the local language the pasmanda woman here is in such a bad state they have no voice here the basic fundamental rights they cannot execute direct principles of state policy the girl or sorry for any for any individual mm. for that matter should have at least educ be educated till 10th right. it is not being followed 21 is the age for marriage it is not followed there is a heavy child labor there there is there is nobody to work towards it from the government mm. perspective or from mpg's perspective this is one side of the atrocities happening on the muslim women community itself for mm -hmm. coming up to hindu people it is extremely difficult for hindus there to have their survival mm -hmm. because they lack safety and security okay. so they need somebody who could strongly stand up for that and you know how people judge there whether mm -hmm. their leader is strong or not they judge that whether this leader can take the voice of mm -hmm. having truthful elections all the way to the central election commission right. i am going to represent the central election commission all the things that are happening behind the screen in polling and during the election time this mm. is only how a leader is being chosen and judged here they see that whether she can stand up bravely to the expectations of the voter mm. voter wants a change here but they can only bring up this change provided you give them the justified way of executing their vote right and that's right. very important they want development who would not want development anand ji who would not want to have development when the entire world even countries middle east if you look at dubai most of these muslims do definitely go once in a while to dubai and come back on you know on mm. on search of jobs they do get really disappointed ki why are we like this here hamara zindagi kyun hai yahan pe aisa hai unka kyun aisa wahan pe hai but they have no i would say the, they they don't have the guts to speak it up hmm. so it's very important that i stand up not only for their issues right. for their problems but also it is very important for me that 
I help them to cast their vote safely. So you are saying, hmm, so, so that's this a big... This is very important there. So you are saying you want to help them cast their vote and stand up for what they want and try and get it, uh, get it for them. They, it's not yet happened so far. But you are doing it as part of the BJP which has been painted as a communal party. The BJP is the one, the Hindutva party which is going to polarize the vote and the campaign. How are you going to fight this and how do you see this affecting the BJP's prospects in Lok Sabha 2024 across the 17 seats? I would want to tell, clarify one thing, Ananji, that BJP is not a communal party. If a Muslim goes to Makkah, how can you say to a communal? You can tell he's religious. Correct. BJP party is a religious because people, who, who, all of us who are part of BJP, we believe in Hindu Dharma, Sanatana Dharma. And what does Sanatana Dharma or Hindu Dharma question us? Manav Seva is Madhav Seva. Correct. Hindu religion Very never told us that Hindu Manav ka Seva hi Madhav Seva hai. We believe in Dharma and Dharma says don't ever hurt anybody who is trying to be justful, who is trying to be truthful and who belongs to this nation and who is patriotic towards your nation. For that matter, I have worked with Muslim women, hmm. I worked with Pasmanda women, I worked with Shia community, I worked with orphanages, hmm. I worked with Madarsas. Now tell me which, which communal colour would you want to give me? And I have been chosen by BJP. Hmm. It is a wrong notion that these people would want to continue, continuously throw on to BJP. Abataye, when so many schemes were, uh, were, were sanctioned by Modi as Prime Minister, Konsa scheme ye leke aage bad raha hai, ye sirf Hindu ke liye hai. Aisa todi jata hai logon ke beech mein koi scheme. It's high time, it's a high time that BJP cannot be given this color. Yes, we all stand to be true Hindus and we believe in Hindutvam. Because at all points of time Sanatan Dharam says, you have to be truthful. Otherwise, you please tell me, why would he go all the way going, abolishing triple talaq? Why would we struggle so much? Because he only has seen the tears of a Muslim woman. And where does all this communal colour even come? No, it's their skate. They're scared that BJB would sweep. So obvious, that's how, you know, I'm new to politics. But I believe that's how, you know, people start making you know, quotes and comments in politics, which are not true. But the truth is, Sapka Saath. Modi ji ne todi kya hai? Hindu ka saath. Sapka Saath kya hai na unho ne? Sapka Saath. To Sapka Saath matlab, Sapka Saath. Hindu, Musalman, Christian, Sare Sikh, Baudh, Jain, Jitine bhi log hai. Sapka Saath. Well, you say you're new to politics, but you sound quite seasoned already, Madhavi ji. Uh, Manav Seva is Madhav Seva. That stays with me. Thank you very much. Wish you all the very, very best. Former chairperson of the Virinchi Hospital, a framed dancer and performer herself, now into the foray, taking on Asaduddin Owesi in the old city of Hyderabad in Lok Sabha 2024. Thank you for speaking with us. With that, we call it a wrap on this edition of The Right Stand. Zakhar ready with brass tags.